guys, thank you for joining me today. I created this new springy look today with the awesome Jaclyn Hill palette and these great new brushes that I just purchased from MikasaBeauty.com. They are amazing. I purchased them about, um, I think, a week ago. And ever since I started using them, I just can't steer away from them. If you like this look and you want to see how these brushes work out for me, keep watching. So, I've already done my eyebrows. You guys have seen me do my eyebrows plenty of times, so you don't need to see that. I used my Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture Lotion, as usual. Primed my face with the Becca Ever Matte. I have already applied my foundation, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. I'm really excited about these brushes, so let's get started. I'm just going to place this scotch tape so I can get a nice clean look. So I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette, the famous Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to go for a spring look because it is spring after all and I just love all these beautiful colors. Now I'm going to go in with my E300. Mikasa brush. We are first going to go in with this neutral color here. It has a little bit of shimmer and I'm going to use that as my base today. Look at how pretty that is. I'm going to put that some of that in the inner corner since it's so bright and beautiful and I'm going to add it to my brow bone as well. And we're just going to spread it all over. Nice light strokes. I love these brushes. They feel so soft against your eyelid. So I'm just using soft circular motions. So we're gonna take the E300 blending brush and we're gonna continue to blend in another color. I'm gonna go in with this other neutral color, it's like a little darker. And I'm gonna blend that into my crease. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit just so that it blends nicely up here by the brow bone. I'm gonna leave that nice shimmery white color up there. But we're just gonna try to blend in these two colors where I want them to be nicely. Wow, these brushes really feel amazing. But now I'm gonna go in with the, with the E230, which is a eye shader brush. I'm just gonna go in with this blue. This is a very bold blue. It's very beautiful. It's like a royal blue. It has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. And I'm just gonna gently circular motions, go back and forth, starting from out here. Just put a little bit in that crease, but we're not going over the crease with it. That color is gorgeous. take the other side of the brush and we're gonna go in with this it's like a kind of like a chrome dark pink and it has gold tones in it and I'm just gonna blend in very lightly into the middle of my lid right here I'm going to spray some of my MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to pick up some more product. And there we go. Now it stands out more. So I'm just going to keep dabbing because I want it to like really stand out there. And that color is just gorgeous. I'm just going to turn it right back around where I have that blue purplish color so we can blend this part right here nicely. I'm 
Now I'm gonna go back in with that bloom. And very carefully, I'm gonna place it into the inner corner, but not right here, but more so on the lid of the, the inner corner of the lid. Trying to use very light strokes because I don't wanna get that color anywhere else except for right in that area. So I'm just gonna use light dabbing like strokes. I'm gonna take the E310, which is like a pencil brush. And I gotta tell you guys, they're so like fluffy, but they have a very stable feel to them. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, when you feel them, the way that they're made, you can tell that they're good at picking up product. But they're also gentle enough for your skin. And without feeling any roughness or irritation, like certain brushes do where you go back and forth with them and, and they feel almost like they're scratching your face, like these brushes don't do that. Now I'm gonna go in with this, I would say it's like a mauve brown color. Now I'm going to take the E320 brush, which is a tapered Mikasa brush. And I kind of want to add uh, a different color up here as well on the crease to blend it in with the purple and all these neutral earthy tones that I have going on here. I'm going to go with the cranberry just to help that stand out a little bit. And I just I just want to put a little bit, I don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to put a little at a time and a little at a time. I'm just gonna outline what's going on here. Bring it up slightly. I'm using very light pressure. There's no need to press in with these brushes because like I said, they pick up product very well. Okay, now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pick up my E230 again and I'm gonna go in with that same blue that we were using before. Make sure we take the blue side. And we're just gonna darken up the corner right here. And we're gonna darken up the inner corner of the lid as well, just a little bit. Touch up the other side. Oh, we gotta put the cranberry on the side. Go back in with that cranberry color and I'll tapered brush. I'm gonna touch up with that same brush from the side that we used for this pink gold tone shimmer look. And we're just gonna touch up the middle lid. Just a little bit. We want that shimmer to stand out nicely. Now, I know I should have concealed before, but it's okay. We're gonna be using Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer today. This is my first time trying it. I'm gonna go in with my E220 brush, which is, which is a concealer brush. Now to just make sure that that's pressed in and blend it well, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and dab it in a little bit. Which I really didn't need to use much because the brush did most of the work already.
I had a little bit of a camera issue. I was touching it up and I didn't even know that you guys still were watching. Um, I went in with this teal color to my lower lash line because I felt like I needed a little bit more color. But then I didn't like the matte with what I had going on. And so I went in with a shimmery teal and I kind of like that one better with my pencil brush, which is the E310. And I'm just going to take some more of that and touch up this side. Ooh. Oh great, we got some on our nose. the F120 which is a taper contour brush. I'm going to use this to contour and highlight. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. stuff smells so good I love it. it smells just like chocolate guys like so yummy I'm gonna use that same brush to contour the side of my nose just gonna go along the side not touching the middle Now with my Tata Large Velour Puff, I'm going to go in with some cover FX. And I just want to like, kind of like, I'm going to kind of fold it out like this to get the middle of my nose. Work my way in there. Get the tip of the Velour Puff. Do a little bit of the forehead. And just a little bit under here, not too much. I love the way this velour puff feels. Some on our chin. And we're just going to use it to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to use some of my Glam Glow Plumping Treatment. And we're just gonna let that work on the lips while we put on some eyelashes. I can really feel like this lip treatment like tingly and burning. Not burning in a bad way, but kind of like a good spicy kind of way. Now we're gonna go in with Buxom's Intensely Volumizing Mascara. And we're going to straighten these bad boys up. I'm gonna take my Tarte <laughs> Lash Curler. I just kind of want them to be even. This mascara is the bomb. I just want to try this Lodi stamp liner, which is the stars, and I kind of want to add some stars. Because I feel like this look needs some stars. So we're going to put some here. Oh, look at how cute that is. Although a little circle came out, but it still looks cute. And one right here. Oh, there we go. I think we can fix that circle line that's there with our E220 concealer brush. And we're going to take the concealer, if we can get it out. And we're going to just put a little bit on the very tip. this brush. I love all these brushes. I'll take the beauty blender and dab and dab and it looks like it didn't work them out so I'm gonna have to brush it through like this to make sure it comes out. So I recently purchased the Prismatic Multi Stick in the color Blush Pearl from Bite 
and I haven't tried it yet, so let's see how this works as a highlight. Oh, that's nice. Now I'm going to take the same contour brush as before. I kind of want to like blend that in because I feel like it just seems like it's all in one spot. Now I don't know why but I kind of want to add another highlighter. Uh, we're going to go old school with the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. We're going to go in with, I think I want to go in with this peachy color just to kind of uh, tame down that white pink pearl which is beautiful but I want a peachy look. So we're taking Daydream. I wish they were still making this highlighting palette. I think it's gorgeous. Hopefully uh, Nicole Guerrero will come up with something else and collab with someone else and make one just as good again. Just gonna OD a little bit, you know, cause a little wound and hurt. Right on top of them stars. I feel like I need to take my Anastasia dip brow and just like make my the ends of my eyebrows a little darker. Now I just use the brush that the dip brow comes with. Now for lipstick, let's move on. We are going to be using Anastasia's soft pink matte lipstick. Now, I usually always do this at the end because I like for it to blend in nicely and I feel like putting it over the highlight a little bit works good. I recently was gifted this NARS Orgasm blush for my birthday from Ulta's for free. It's a little tiny one and let me tell you guys, I tried it the other day and I absolutely love it. It is in the color Orgasm. And we're gonna take our F111 blush brush from Mikasa. We're just gonna dab and add some right here. that look off. I want to add some eyeliner to kind of just give it a little bit more of a spring touch up. And this is one of my favorite um, liners from Wet n Wild. It's kind of like a nude, a bright like nude color. I like to use it to like bring out, you know, the whole entire look and brighten up the eyes, widen up the eyes. And usually when you use black eyeliner, they kind of make your eyes look um, darker and more closed in. So this will brighten up the eye and open up the eye. I also um, purchased this Cover FX Shimmer Veal in the color Amethyst, I think that's how you say it. Um, I want to dab some on the, lit, on the bottom uh, lip a little bit just to, I don't know, shimmer it up a little bit. Let's try that. Selfie for the 
Okay, that's enough with the selfies. Mikasa makeup brushes worked out lovely. I love these brushes. They are my go-to brushes. Ever since I've purchased them, I've been using them. And I love the fact that they have such a nice, fluffy, soft feel to them, but they're also very sturdy and comfortable to hold. They pick up product very well. I don't find myself having to dab into the eyeshadow, even when it's a light-colored eyeshadow, too much, too much in order to pick up enough product. And I have a little surprise for you guys. If you want to purchase them as well and uh, create beautiful looks like the one that I've created today, there is an affiliate code underneath that you can use to get 25% off when you go to purchase your brushes on their website. I will link that discount below in the description and I hope to see you guys enjoying them soon. Um, bye guys. here from Urban Decay's, uh, I think it's, um, I forgot what was the name of their lipstick line that came out, but it's um, a sample of Firebird, the color, and I kind of want to like play with it. I have a lip brush here somewhere. I'm not sure where I got this lip brush at. I think it was somewhere in the pharmacy or maybe it came with my Glam Glow set for the lip treatment. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it was. I'm going to dip it into this little Firebird sample and let's see what this color looks like. Mm, it's nice and bright. It's like a hot pink fuchsia or something. Very nice. It's kind of like a popping, like bright color. Really pretty. I think. pick up like all types of samples whenever I get a chance to because I like to try out I think I've explained it to you guys a million times I like to try out the samples first before I buy the big ah uh, yes here we go this was the sample pack it was from Urban Decay Vice so I'm not sure they should still have these but they have some great colors I had a bunch I really like that Firebird color I'm going to see if it's available online and order it let's see I'm assuming Sephora's may have it Sephora.com Yes, they still have it. Definitely gonna get it. Yeah, it says Color Fiber Cream Deep Fuchsia. I'm so excited with today's video. I feel like I really like used a lot of the new products that I had, and I'm also really excited about the fact that I purchased these uh, Mikasa um, makeup brushes. They turned out to be like so awesome. Like seriously, guys, they're so awesome. No lie, like they are really good brushes. I'm really impressed with them. Very impressed. <laughs>